Hey, what's up guys? Commando Santa here and welcome back to Buffalo Valley. Um, so we're on episode two. So I know you guys are going to hate me, but I lied to you. Um, today I ended up doing, I didn't put any rides down and I completely didn't do any paths or anything. I instead built another building next to the one we already had, just so I can block off a few more of the sight lines when you get in the into the beginning little area there. I know next episode we'll get there. I'm sorry. You guys can hate me. Whatever. But we're here and I did it and we're done after this. So today we I pretty much worked on a kind of like a lodge, a little bit of cabin type thing. I started out, I really, really wanted to make a cabin, like a log cabin. And I'm like, okay, Planet Coaster has those logs. I can use the logs and try and make a log cabin. Well, that didn't work out too well. The logs are super long and you can't change their colors and they just look really, really bad. So we haven't gotten to the point in the video where I start placing them yet, but in a little bit I do and you guys will see what I mean. Um, so I completely scrapped that and just did a wooden building. So it looks okay. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was not happy with what I've been doing. For this building at the start as you can probably see there's times where I literally go back and forth left to right with the camera really really quickly that is me literally debating deleting this entire building stopping recording going for a walk and coming back to do it again because at that time my mind's like oh, I don't like it it looks really bad and you should start over and do it again so I mean I just kept going and this is actually my third attempt at this building. There was actually two attempts before, and I didn't like either of them. And this one actually started to really grow on me as I kept going. The first one, I was trying to maybe do like a lodge on the hill. And I would try to get maybe a more modern looking lodge with those big windows and everything. But our big windows are very, very lacking in Planet Coaster. I mean, they look okay, but it just didn't really fit with the wood. I tried putting some wooden trim around it and I just didn't like it. And I'm like, I got to put something here that will actually fit with the space and kind of go along with what we already have there and possibly go along with the theme of the park. So I'm like, oh, let's do a log cabin, maybe like maybe a home or like some guy's house who used to live here. Or maybe it's the owner's house that actually lives on the resort. Or I don't know, maybe the maybe this place is like a skiing chalet and People can stay here via like Airbnb or something. I don't know. So I went on the good old Google and I found a few reference images and just plastered one of my screens with all these things and just kind of made it like a conglomeration of all of them. And as I said before, I didn't like it as I was going, but around around this point in the video, I started to really, really enjoy it. But you can probably see I pause a lot and I literally just sit there and I think about it and I just stare at it. And I'm like, and I cut out like a lot of just me staring at it because there's a lot of just like no movement and nothing going on. So I had to cut that out of the video because it's really boring. But but other than that, I I started to really enjoy how it was coming out. So I'm like, OK, let's just keep going. Let's finish this. This will be it. And if I really, really don't like it at the end, once I put all the scenery and trees and shrubs and around it, I can delete it and rethink my life. So. That actually never happened because when I was done with it, it looked absolutely fantastic. And I was so, so pleased that it turned out okay. I still personally think that it doesn't really go, it doesn't go perfectly well with the building next to it, but it, it, it fits. And thinking back to it, we're not going to be looking at this area like that much. And I think I have a little bit of the, I've literally stared at these two buildings the past two episodes, like. That might be the reason why I'm not liking it, but I mean, I like it, but I don't know. It's hard to explain, but maybe I can get your guys input on, but on it. So I was having a, a little bit at the beginning. I was having a little bit of trouble with the tools uh, because I like to work on the smallest grid size possible. And when you're placing like wooden walls like this, it just does not like it at all. Um, so you can see at the beginning, I was like going back and forth, back and forth, trying to place the wood pieces. And finally, Planet Coaster is like, oh, you want to place that here? I'm like, yes, thank you so much. And after that, it came out really okay. I also had a few issues with the camera. 
as you can see, sometimes the camera like pans out crazy. And I think in the last episode, I actually changed over to like the more advanced camera, which gives you really specific controls for like getting under places and building really, really close to things. And it works pretty well. I would actually suggest learning the advanced camera. It's it's not that hard to get into, but at the end, it's really, really worth it. And I think that is some of the reason why the camera kept like flying back into almost orbital velocity speeds up into the atmosphere because I was getting really close to these objects. And when you pan down to a certain place, uh, the terrain, you would like clip into the terrain and then the camera would try and adjust itself. And all of a sudden you're 20,000 miles away from the thing what you're working on. And it was just funny. A few times I had, just, had to stop and laugh at it. Um, so going back to what we were working on the building wise, I really, really enjoyed how the one side facing our entrance came out. I really, I just really enjoyed how that looked. I don't know the big windows and the big windows just, it's just, it's just fantastic. I was so, so happy with it. And it kind of, I don't know. uh, It's, it's like a, um, it's like it's basement level, but it's, also not because the building itself was kind of built into the hill there you know and we have this one side where the basement level is technically exposed but we have an entrance over there so my kind of thought process near the end of this was like maybe this should be lodging places and i i've explained that already but it's like there this could have been split up into like multiple different places and i mean this is like the the pricey really expensive like hey if you want to stay here you're going to have to pay the big bucks and, but you get the best view and there's going to be like a lake right there and all the park and the big mountains. And I have to the right a little bit later, you'll see, I'm going to start a hiking trail that goes over to this little, little river that's going to flow in the back there. And I don't know, that could be it, but the idea of it being split up and everything could be, it makes sense. I mean, we're not going to design the inside This is me just trying to think of like why this building is here because how I like to do these things is like everything needs to be here for a reason. I don't want buildings there that it's like, well, why is this here? There's there's no reason to be here. What's the story of this thing? So I'm just thinking like everything in this park is going to be kind of old. So everything should have a story and a reason why it's here. And this building included, this building is going to be, you know, you come stay here. Airbnb, or maybe it's like a hotel ran by the park, something. I don't know. So a general theme we're going to go with the park here is I kind of really like the whole thing of it being overgrown. So there's just going to be thousands and thousands of bushes and shrubs and rocks and everything placed all over the place. And I think that's going to be the only way this park's going to look good. Just because it needs to fit the forest theme. With that in mind... I think some of the reason why when I was talking about earlier, I didn't like the look of it was because the park's not finished. And without the park being finished, it's everything up in front of this building and our park entrance is all like decked out with trees and bushes and shrubs and, you know, some people walking around. It actually looks like it's done. At the end of this, you'll see what I mean. It's all done in the front. We're done here at the end of this episode. It's great. We can move on. But going back to what we're talking about, um, I haven't really done anything with past these two buildings. And everything past these two buildings is what we're going to do later. So after thinking about it for a while, I'm like, well, this is going to look great once we're actually done with the park a little bit further. Because we're going to be working kind of in waves. I mean, I'm definitely going to place a few things further out, but I think I'm generally going to be working from the park entrance all the way back. And if I kind of go along with that, it should start to come together really well. And I really hope it looks nice. Um, One thing I didn't do in this episode was work on the back of the building because I'm not really sure what I want to do with it yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to put there because that is technically inside the park. And everything that's inside the park needs to have a purpose as in functionality wise. I mean, we can have a few of these buildings that just kind of are meaningless but they do have meaning but they, they they're meaningless really nothing is going to be happening in these buildings they're just there for show 
but everything in the park is going to have like a shop in it or a queue or a ride or something or just kind of like some good looking scenery a log cabin but i would make it so people can walk into it some kind of thing like that so i kind of left the back of them back of these two buildings not done and i'll for sure return to them later in the episodes maybe i'll just do it on my own time just kind of finalize everything on my own time but i don't know uh, the back of the buildings will come along once we start working back there so don't be too worried about that um, i'll still up upload and update these to this the the workshop if you guys want me to i know with the last one i had a few people they wanted me to upload to the workshop so it's up there and as i continue to add things to it i'll for sure keep that updated as well same thing's probably going to happen with this building but i don't know placing this building is going to be weird because it's technically meant to be in a mountain or on a hill there so it's going to be hard just to like place it but i don't know people can work with it or take a look at what i did just to kind of like further their building potential or i don't know look at it be like hey this is how he did that cool maybe i can do it with my stuff because i kind of i record these because i want you guys to learn on how to become a better builder and that kind of leads me to what i want to talk about next is how to be a better builder and you know throughout all these episodes i'm for sure going to lay down you lay down some tips and some tricks and things i've learned along the way on how to make these how to just do things and make things look a little better and anything i can do to help you guys you know i've told many people already it's like add me on steam you know add me on twitter whatever you guys can talk to me be like hey commander santa how'd you do this or what would you do here how does this look what would you recommend go ahead and ask me questions i i work on a, at a desk job all day i get bored sometimes like ask me questions i'll gladly help you guys out with whatever you're working on but so building tip wise one thing i have learned and do a lot in this game and i know i've talked about it earlier but i always come back and i zoom out or back up a little bit and look at the whole thing look at the building whatever you're working on at a whole like look at the whole thing together and be like huh i kind of like how this looks or i don't like how this looks and pinpoint what you don't like what you like because when you're like up close working on these buildings you're not looking at the whole the the big picture so i found myself at the beginning of this episode talking about it i wasn't liking it but a lot of the times i was way too close to even look at the whole thing and then you'd back up even further and see well how does this look with everything else around it and at the end of this episode when we do our walkthrough looking at this whole thing in the whole i it just looks great and once you add all your scenery it's just fantastic and that's another thing once you're done with the building don't stop there buildings don't sit on just like random flat grass areas add a little bit of terrain around it add some little forestry areas or a little bit of bushes or i don't know flower pots plants garden something just to kind of spice it up make it look like it needs to be there um, another thing i always do is i have google open all the time i run planet coaster in windowed mode so i can always go back and forth i have three monitors so i have lots of space to put like reference images and stuff like that i'd be like hmm, what do i want to build now i don't know for this one a lodge google lodge that looks nice save it scroll down a little bit that looks nice save it and they'll bring all these up and i'll just kind of look at them and be like what do i like most out of all of these and what part of these are actually going to fit what i want to be doing and if they fit and everything i leave it up and i play planet coaster and i start building and once it starts to come together i can actually debate you know i zoom out i take a look at the big picture i'm like huh i really like it or mm, i don't know if i like this maybe i'll take something from a different image and or maybe I'll put my own spin onto it. And that's something I do. I love putting my own spin on things. Because I don't want to copy something like like word for word or, you know, you block for block in this case. It's like it's just not good, you know? Put your own put your own spin on things. Make it your own, you know? You will actually really enjoy it even more once you make something your own on top of putting all those hours into it. Hours as in like for me personally, I spend hours on a single building. Heck, we're on episode two and I haven't even placed a single ride yet. But 
regardless. That's about it for, I don't know, tips I'm building, I guess. Um, last thing I want to talk about today is kind of the, our, the state of the channel. So I'm for sure new at all this stuff, as you guys can tell. I mean, this is really my third video I've put up. Um, I really enjoy doing this. I, Every single person that comments on anything I do here, it just literally makes my day. And I, I, I listen to everyone. I'll, I'll comment, I'll reply at every single person that messages me, either on Reddit or, you know, on YouTube or whoever you want to contact me. I love talking to you guys and you guys, this makes me happy, you know, makes it pretty easy. But I just wanted to say I'm going to try and upload videos every week. And if I do a build and I seem it's kind of small, I probably will upload more than one a week, depending on my time. But I do work full time, so I try and have enough time to do this. And usually once a week is for sure easy to do, but I don't want to push it by trying to do two. I don't want to promise more than I can possibly get. So at least once a week is going to happen, possibly more. Um, I was also talking about or thinking about doing maybe like a maybe just kind of like a live build where I just record myself playing for a little bit or maybe do some like Twitch streaming or something. And we'll do, I don't know, like challenge mode, but the hardest difficulty and see see if we can make something like sandbox level in the challenge difficulty. But maybe, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. If there's any interest in that. Other than that, I think that's going to pretty much wrap up this episode. So, um, I'll let this finish up and then I'll see you guys at the end of the video and we'll do a little walkthrough. See you then. Well, there it is. I am pretty pleased with it, actually. You know, thinking about it. This, the bushes, the scenery just makes it look really good. You know, the few finishing touches I did on my own time on the, on the house. So I just could, so I can take some time with it. I mean, I spent most of the time just going through every single prop and like, holding it up where it could be and I'm like does this look good here i don't know and then i would place it and like mm, yeah that can stay or no it can't stay so that took like another hour just to place all the, like this super specific details and then get all the bushes and all the new trees around everything and i think it looks fantastic i am so excited to finally move in the park though so so next episode we'll go do that we're gonna move into the park next up next episode we're gonna place a ride hopefully i i'm fairly certain we're going to if i don't well i don't know i'm gonna make myself do it well that's the end of this video guys um let me know what you guys think in the comments uh please like um i'll probably post a couple pictures to reddit as per usual and i'll see you guys around take it easy guys <laughs>